Hello, fellow Meet Journey users. So in this post, I'm going to go over the 10 art styles that you could potentially use for your, your text to image prompting. So first would be knife art. So knife art style is a little bit childlike and you know, just like uh, the style such as naive, right? So it, it attracts um, kids. And in, in general, I think it's a, a good style for a children's storybook and all that. And yeah, yeah, it just looks cool, right? And the art style is like a lot of color, so it's it's kind of like a color book in a sense. Okay, so moving on to the second one, we have the knowing art style. So knowing art style is a little bit unique for Mid Journey. Well, it doesn't actually look like a, a real life version because sometimes you see the images where they they are not. Uh, you know, some of them don't look right. But generally, the knowing art style is good for, say, if you want to use it uh, as like a thumbnail or something. It generally attracts attention, and I think it's quite good. And then, uh, if you want to use it, you want to have it, uh, you want to prompt it using the wider expect ratio. So 16 to 9 or 3 to 2 is actually pretty good. Okay, so the next one by Martin Watson. So Martin Watson's art style is uh, more street art. and it usually consists of like rainbow colors. So um, at least his pictures are going to have at least six or seven different colors. And generally it focuses on the subject, right? So if you, if, for example, a big heart full of love, then the love usually becomes the one that has a lot of color. So uh, very, very unique and I really like it. So prompt structure is simple, whatever you want by Martin Watson. Okay, so the next one's gonna be minimalism art style. Minimalism art style is good for say if you want like a mock-up of like a simple image, then the minimalism art style is gonna be really good. So uh, good for posters, good for uh, reducing the number of uh, clutter in in the image, right? Uh, very simple to use. It's whatever subject that you put in there, and then minimalism art style. Okay, so we're heading on to the next. So the next one's an anime style. So it's Jigoku Shoujo style, which means Hell Girl. It's an anime. And anime has a mix of like horror and, and, and a darker theme. So if you're into that, um, you will like it. Halloween, you know. Now, generally, it's an anime style. So if you want to only use their colors, like red, dark, um, then you want to focus on... Uh, prompting the subject to have a higher weighting, right? So in this case, for the Empire State Building, you want to put a, de a semicolon, semicolon two, or maybe higher to em emphasize on the building rather than the actual style. So it will still bring the style, but it wouldn't put in like anime characters in it. So it's a, it's a pretty cool style, I think. Okay, so on to the next one. We have the Okami style. So this is like uh, ancient Japanese style where if you're looking for flowery um you know colors then uh and, and in, in in ancient japanese style then i think this one's uh, pretty good so uh you can do it for streets you can do it for um uh, like wolf howling uh, this kind of images i think it's pretty cool and it has a distinct style you know and it's pretty simple to use same thing you can insert subject here and then okami style right? nothing nothing fancy Okay, so on to the next one, we've got Ake uh, Gailan. I believe that's how I pronounced it. I apologize if I got it wrong. So her, um, the art style by Ake Gailan is actually a little bit muted. They, they, he, it's usually orange color, and you can see, you know, it's not super bright like some of the other ones that you see. But still, it's, it's quite unique, and I really like it. I think if you do it more for like sci-fi or fantasy stuff, um, then yes, you will want to use this art style. So Atei Gailan, so same thing. You insert subject there by Atei Gailan, and that's pretty much it. And it's a he, not a she. So Georgia O'Keeffe is a she, and her art style is more classic, old school painting. So uh, I don't think it mixes very well with modern art, but you can try using it for modern art. Um, but generally, she focuses on like feminine stuff, like roses, flowers, um, landscapes that look really nice and unique. And you can try adding it to your own prompt to see how it works on yours. So very simple as well. So whatever your subject is, by Georgia O'Keeffe. That's pretty much it. 
and then we move on to the next one vector guide so vector guides uh images are also very unique because it's just a few colors that that's used in the image and you can see it has a mix of uh between east and west so there's some asian elements to it uh so that's my, that might be something you want to check out and use it if you like this kind of color style and then we're heading on to the last one which is the fairy cave fashion so fairy cave fashion is the opposite of the other one but um it's more colorful bubbly and it just looks very like bubble gummy type, type of feel so if this is the kind of style that attracts you then you know you should definitely consider trying it out and it's pretty simple to use same thing you do the subject and then um, you add fa uh, comma fairy k fashion uh, or you could do something like uh, you know a busy street in the style of fairy cave fashion however you want to put it i don't think it's going to matter too much as long as you, you mention it in the back somewhere so that's pretty much it for the video i hope you were able to get some ideas on what you can use so there is an art gallery that was created on the website where you can check out all the different art styles so if you go to the art library here You'll be able to see uh, the different art styles from different artists and, and different fashion types, um, graphic design, photography, and print media. So these are all, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do a, a little bit of loading. But generally, you can check uh, most of the images or let's, uh, to check, let's see, for example, go to character. And there will be artists that focus on characters. And you can scroll down to see uh, what kind of style you like. So you can have an idea of whether or not that's something you would like to incorporate into your text to image prompting on Mid Journey. So oh, it takes a bit of loading. So let's see here. Okay, art gem. So art gems are actually a popular um, comic pipe of art and that might be something you would consider using so yeah so it is not just uh, one style you can check uh, it has about well over a thousand plus so you're welcome to check it out and that concludes the video so enjoy and i'll see you guys soon take care and bye bye